Well, in case you haven't heard, Facebook is changing its name to Meta. Uh, the company is working on uh, its ambitions outside of social media. And with me is Naomi Glythe, the Vice President of Product and Social Impact for Meta. So Naomi, great to meet you. And I'm gonna have to get used to saying that. So um, <laughs> just- We I, will too. Yes, I'm sure. I, explain a little bit what was behind the name change. Sure. So we've been working on this for a really long time. Um, the new brand better represents what we do as a company. Obviously, Facebook, the app will still be called Facebook, but we do so much more. We have Instagram and Messenger and WhatsApp. We build hardware like Portal and Oculus. And so the new company brand represents all of what we do, not just one of what we do. We also have heard that it's kind of confusing that the company has the same name as one of our apps. Oh, interesting. Okay. So, and I know that um, CEO Mark Zuckerberg has talked about the metaverse and kind of that is where he'd like to take the company. Can you explain what, what's a vision? Like what is the metaverse? So obviously nothing is better than being together in person. That is, that's the best, but that's not always possible. And so the metaverse is about helping us feel closer together in person, even when we can't be there. Um, the metaverse is going to be a set of virtual spaces where I can interact with people, even if we're not in the same place. So for example, during COVID, I've been doing video conferencing with my coworkers because we haven't been in the office, but using workrooms in VR, we're able to feel like we're together in the office, seated around a table, we can go together to the whiteboard, I can hear them using spatial audio to my left and to my right, and it's just a much more immersive and engaging experience. Yeah, no, it sounds really interesting, and I, I think the meeting application is yeah. uh, one of the most obvious ones. Are, are there other things, like how will we connect, what can we, how can we expect to live in a metaverse? Sure. So another example is I'm from California, but I recently moved to New York. I love fitness and I've been using VR to do fitness classes with my girlfriends in California. And it really feels like we're in that spinning class together and I can hear the instructor and I can cheer on my girlfriends. And so, again, we're going to be able to feel together even when we're not together. Mm -hmm. And then will Facebook have uh, still have the, the social media platform? It'll still be called Facebook. It'll just be, I guess, kind of a division of Meta. Yeah, that's right. Facebook will still be called Facebook. We still have our social media apps, Instagram, Messenger and WhatsApp. But again, it will just be a part of what we do. There's such a big focus and a big team working on the metaverse. But just keep in mind, the metaverse is not something that just Facebook is gonna build. It's not a Facebook product. Like the internet, it's gonna be built by many companies, many developers, many businesses. We'll have creators building for the metaverse. And so it's gonna be a true collective project. Yeah, no, I've heard Elon Musk talk about it as well. So, and then, and how does somebody access the metaverse? Is it, is it an app or how does that work? So initially, the way that people will access the metaverse will primarily be through hardware. So we have um, virtual reality like our Oculus Quest devices, which you can put on your head and instantly be transported into the metaverse. But the really important thing to remember is it's really early. So these are just glimpses of what the future will be like. Um, and it's going to take 10 to 15 years to really fully realize this vision. Yeah, no, I, I can see that. It's all very interesting how we're going to be living in the future. So thank you so much, Naomi, for coming and kind of explaining a little bit about this. And we're going to watch it. It's going to be really interesting. Thank you, Jane.